Boys and girls, welcome to another edition of Children's Bible Minutes brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of Belize. It's a wet afternoon here in Langriga. I well, it's been a wet day here in Langriga. I hope you're having a wonderful day where you are. Today, we're going to be looking at being thankful. What does it mean to be thankful? How can we be thankful? Why should we be thankful? We're going to be listening to a story from Luke chapter 17, verse 11 through to 19, that talks about the one leper out of 10 that came back to give God thanks. But before we get into any of that today, let's begin with our opening song. This one from Go Kids Asia entitled, Happy All the Time. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Luke chapter 17 verse 11 to 19 talks about a story of some lepers who met Jesus and who asked for healing and got it. But out of the 10 of them that met him, only one came back. Let's listen to this version from the contemporary English version of the Bible of Luke 17, 11 to 19 being read for us by Mr. Douglas Brown. And when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about what it means to be thankful. Let's have a listen. One leper gives thanks to God. On his way to Jerusalem, Jesus went along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men with leprosy came towards him. They stood at a distance and shouted, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. Jesus looked at them and said, Go show yourselves to the priests. On their way, they were healed. When one of them discovered that he was healed, he came back shouting praises to God. He bowed down at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. This man was from the country of Samaria. Jesus asked, Weren't ten men healed? Where are the other nine? Why was this foreigner the only one who came back to thank God? Then Jesus told the man, you may get up and go. Your faith has made you well. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. Man, what a powerful reading indeed. So, let's recap the reading quickly. Ten men found themselves with leprosy. And leprosy was a skin disease where your skin would be broken open and things would be oozing from all over. And it was itchy. And, oh, people didn't want you around because they could catch this leprosy from you. And guess what? <laughs> They would force you to come out of your house to go live in the streets. They would force you out of the village to go live on your own, which is why it was 10 of them living together, because all 10 had leprosy. And when they met Jesus on the road, they wanted Jesus to heal them. And of course, Jesus did heal them, 
but he didn't touch them and pray over them or anything like that. He simply said to them, go and show yourself to the priest because it would have meant that they would have been clean, right? But on the way they were going, they realized that their skin were clean, but nine kept going forward and only one came back to say thank you. Mm -hmm. One out of ten, boys and girls, if you had ten questions and you only get one correct, exactly. Why was it only one that came back? We're going to talk about that a little bit later after we listen to our second song. This one entitled, Thank You God for the Beautiful World. And we chose this one, Thank You God for the Beautiful World, because we spoke about the one leopard that came back. And we recognize that sometimes we don't give God thanks enough for all that he gives us. So let's listen to this one. Thank you, God, for the beautiful world. Also from Go Kids Asia. Thank you, God, for the beautiful world, for the sun and the blue, blue sky, for the birds and the fish and the flowers and the trees and the cute little butterfly. Thank you, God, for the beautiful world, for the sun and the blue, blue sky, for the birds and the fish and the flowers and the trees and the cute little butterfly. want to thank the folks over at Go Kids Asia for the use of that one. And you know what? Thank you, God, for the beautiful world because everything that is in it comes from God. And that's the thing. When we were discussing the story of the 10 lepers, we realized that sometimes we take for granted the good things that God does for us. Those men took for granted that God healed them and only one came back to say thank you. And we realized, boys and girls, like for instance, it's been raining these past few days, but you have a dry place to stay. Did you thank God for that? You woke up this morning. Did you thank God for life? You had food to eat all of today. Nice rice and beans with potato salad and chicken, I am sure. Did you thank God for that? Sometimes we forget to give God thanks for all the things that he has given us. And that was bothering us a little bit. And so we decided... Let's call Douglas and see what Douglas has to say. And Douglas reminded us of a time when it was Thanksgiving in his school. And guess what? Thanksgiving for them is like harvest for us. It was Thanksgiving for them. And Douglas shared with us what it must be like in order to be give God thanks. So let's listen to Douglas as he share with this, this one with us, thanks to God, a Thanksgiving Day Sunday school lesson. Let's have a listen. Every good thing comes from God. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I want to talk to you guys about thankfulness, being thankful, and specifically thanking God for what you have. Yeah, every single good thing in our life comes from God. It's all thanks to God. And so we should give all thanks to God. You know, it's a really good idea to be thankful for what you have, right? Not just because you should, but because it it's good for you. It's really hard to have a bad attitude when you are thankful and grateful when you have an attitude of gratitude. So like when someone does something nice for you, it's really good to thank them for it. It's good for you, it's good for them, it's good for everybody. So like when my dad brings home burritos from a restaurant on his way home from work, I can thank my dad for those burritos. And sometimes when something good happens to me, something something happens in my life that I'm thankful for, I like to go down what I call a thankfulness rabbit trail. Right? Like I, I like to Think about all the different things I can be thankful for for this one thing. So in the example of my dad bringing back burritos from a restaurant, I can be thankful for my dad bringing the burritos, but I can also be thankful for whoever came up with the recipe for those delicious burritos, right? And I can be thankful for the person who actually made them. And I can be thankful for like the farmer who, who like raised the cow that made the beef for this delicious burrito and, you know, the farmer who, who raised like the flour for the tortilla and all the other good stuff that's in the burrito. I can be even thankful for the cow for, for giving its life so that so that I could have some tasty food and so could lots of other people. And the burrito is just one example. But if you start looking for things that you're thankful for, you start realizing that there's lots and lots of extra things you can be thankful for for the good stuff in your life. And here's the thing. If you start following these thankfulness rabbit trails, 
they all lead back to God. Every single one of them. Every single good thing in your life came from God. It's a gift from God. And not just like stuff, right? Like everything. You can thank God for your family. Your family came from God. You can thank God for your health. Everything. Literally every good thing comes from God. Some of the good stuff in our life happens because of our own hard work, right? Like if you have good grades, you earned that. But you can still be thankful to God. Even though you did the, you know, the work of studying, you can be thankful to God for your teachers who helped you. You can be thankful to God for, you know, your brain that works and helps you to, to better understand the stuff you're learning. Again, every good thing comes from God. And we can thank him for all the goodness in our life. And the fact that God has blessed us all so, so much doesn't mean that there's no bad stuff in our lives. Everybody has bad stuff in their life, some much more than others. But every single good thing that has ever happened to you was because of God's love for you. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would be thankful for what you have. I want you to look around and think about what you have, all the good things in your life, and I want you to thank God for them. Again, it's not just good because, because you owe it to God to thank him. No, it's good to be thankful. It's good to give thanks to God for all the good things in your life because that's good for your heart. Being thankful does the soul good. No matter who you are, you are surrounded by blessings from God. All good things come from God. So let's give him our thanks. Hey guys, I hope you like this. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Douglas, for reminding us that we're supposed to be thankful. And there you have it, boys and girls. All good things come from God. The things that we have in our life, we need to tell God thanks for it. Out of the 10 leper, it was only one that came back to tell Jesus thanks, to give God thanks for the things that God has done in his life. And when you look at it, the amount of things that God has done in your life and my life, we have so many reasons to be thankful for. If we follow up ourselves, we will end up like Douglas. Don't a thank you rabbit hole. Exactly. Because when you think about it, thank you God for mommy and daddy who provided this house. Thank you God for the people who sell the cement blocks. Thank you God for the roof. Thank you, God, for the fact that you give strength to the people who build it. And you could just, there is so much to be thankful for. And the truth is, all things were made by God. All things were made by him. And so we have to give God thanks for all things. Everything, you know. I mean, your clothes, your food, your shoes, your everything. And we're in a season of harvest thanksgiving in our churches here in the South. And I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to stop and think. Before you eat, thank God for where the food comes from for who provided it for you. Before you go to bed, thank God for how you spent this day today. When you wake up in the morning, thank God for waking you up for a new day to give you life, for giving you life. There is so much to be thankful for. Us. As a matter of fact, you know what? We are about to wrap up. So let's close our eyes and bow our heads as we pray and give God some thanks. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you this afternoon for the opportunity to come into your presence and to learn from your word. God, we thank you for the gift of your spirit and for the gift of the teachings that we were able to listen to. And we thank you all now that the things that we have learned are going to take root in our lives and make our lives better. God, we are sorry for those moments when we fail to give you thanks, when we fail to remember that everything we have come from you. God, sometimes we are so busy thinking that we could do things by ourselves and that we don't need you, that we forget to give you thanks. But God, we know that is not true. Because even when we are putting in the effort and the work, if you didn't give us the energy and the light, we still wouldn't be able to do it. And so, God, we thank you. We thank you for our life, for our health, for the things around us that you have blessed us with. God, we thank you for everything. Father, there are some people who don't live their lives with an attitude of gratitude, and so they become sad and they become bitter. God, help us that the way we give you thanks will inspire them to remember that everything comes from you. All good things come from you and that they are supposed to be thankful as well. And God, even if we forget at times, please remind us to remember to come back and to give you thanks like that one leper did story. God, we just thank you for all you have given us and we lift up our prayers of thanksgiving unto you to the name of your most precious son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, boys and girls, that is all the time we have for today. Mm -hmm. We are glad that you could have joined us here on Children's Bible Minutes. We are thankful to God that you came to be a part of this service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
for being here with us. Mm -hmm. We're going to close off with this one entitled, All Things Were Made by Him. And this one is a kid's song from both kids Asia and Boys and Girls. If you remember that all things were made by him and that all things come from him, you will remember to be thankful. We love you and we thank you for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you next Sunday, same place, same time. But until then, don't forget to give God thanks. Do all you can to keep yourself and your family safe. Remember that God loves you and we do too. Bye for now.